In a world where defense technologies define global alliances and power dynamics, two missile defense systems stand out as the most advanced and powerful, America's THAAD and Russia's S-400. But which one truly reigns supreme? While both are designed to defend against deadly missile attacks, their technology, range, and effectiveness reveal key differences that could influence a nation's strength in a high-stakes conflict. Stay tuned as we dive into the cutting-edge features, strengths, and limitations of these two defense giants and uncover why choosing the right one could mean the difference between peace and crisis for many nations. Welcome to our channel, where we keep you informed about the latest advancements in military defense and technology. Today, we're exploring one of the most highly debated topics among military experts. Thard versus S-400, which is better? The Thard, or Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, is a missile defense solution developed by the United States to intercept short and medium-range ballistic missiles during their terminal phase, their last stage of flight. What makes Thard unique is its direct impact technology. Unlike conventional interceptors that use explosive warheads to destroy targets, Thard relies on kinetic energy, colliding directly with the missile and neutralizing it purely by impact. This method allows it to destroy its target without causing a dangerous explosion in the airspace it's defending. In terms of range, THAAD can intercept missiles from up to 150 miles away and at altitudes exceeding 93 miles, making it ideal for high-altitude interceptions. The THAAD system has been deployed in various countries allied with the US, including South Korea and Japan, where it forms a critical part of a multi-layered defense network. Developed by Russia, the S-400 Triumph missile defense system is often considered one of the most versatile air defense solutions available. It's equipped to handle a broad range of threats, from aircraft to ballistic and cruise missiles. Unlike THAAD, the S-400 uses explosive warheads, meaning it relies on fragmentation to destroy incoming missiles. It's built to intercept multiple targets simultaneously, providing defense against up to 80 air targets, including missiles and aircraft, across a variety of altitudes and ranges. When it comes to range, the S-400 offers four types of missiles, with ranges up to 249 miles. This gives it a significant advantage in terms of coverage. The system has been sold to countries like India and Turkey, making it a popular choice for nations looking to bolster their air defense capabilities independently of the United States. So, how do these systems stack up against each other? THAAD's direct impact technology allows for highly accurate interceptions with minimal debris, a vital factor when defending densely populated areas. The S-400, however, offers a larger protective range, capable of engaging multiple targets and higher speed threats. For nations needing coverage over extensive areas with varied altitudes, the S-400 might appear more versatile. THAAD, on the other hand, excels in specific high-stakes environments where minimizing collateral damage is crucial, such as urban defense in heavily populated cities. The S-400's fragmentation approach may pose a risk in such regions due to the potential for debris falling on civilian areas. This means that each system's advantage largely depends on the region's unique defense needs. The U.S. has prioritized THAAD's deployment in regions facing specific ballistic threats, including South Korea, Japan, and recently Israel. Given their proximity to hostile nations with ballistic capabilities, Russia's S-400, however, has found popularity among countries aiming to establish robust, independent air defense, including Turkey, which acquired the system despite NATO membership, sparking global discussions on defense alliances. Each system has implications far beyond its immediate functionality. Third, signifies a broader U.S. defense strategy of cooperation with allies, integrating into global defense networks. S-400 purchases, however, can signal a strategic choice to build independent defense without relying on Western support. But there's an aspect often overlooked, interoperability. That is designed to integrate seamlessly with U.S. defense networks, 
providing real-time data sharing across multiple regions, allowing allies to respond collectively to missile threats. The S-400, on the other hand, operates independently, often without the same data sharing capabilities. For nations in established alliances, this integration could be crucial. However, for those aiming for full control over their defense, S-400 offers a unique level of autonomy that THAAD cannot. Now that you know the strengths and weaknesses of THAAD versus the S-400, there's still so much more to explore. We have a range of fascinating topics coming up, so stay tuned to learn more about defense technologies shaping our world today. And if you missed our last video, US deploying THAAD missile defense system, troops to Israel, make sure to check it out for the latest on why the US made this crucial move to support its Middle Eastern ally. If you enjoyed today's breakdown, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth analysis on military defense strategies and cutting-edge technology. Remember to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates from our channel. Knowledge in today's world is a form of power. Stay informed and stay prepared. Until next time.